What's up everybody? Today, we got another drum core exercise for you that's gonna help your hands get faster and your kick drum foot get faster. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. What's up y'all? Welcome to K-Ward Drums. Brought to you by Fingers Lefty Percussion and the Chop Shop. Yo, today, I'm gonna show you another drum core exercise that's gonna help your hands get faster and your kick foot get faster. Yo, what's the exercise? It's called double beat, it's called double beat. I said double beat and triple beat because if you can play three, two is gonna be a piece of cake, right? That's right. So yo, y'all know what double beat is. Check out the Santa Clara Vanguard playing. See, y'all know what double beat is. Now, why do you need double beat? Well, first of all, just like eight on the hand, which I showed you in the first video of drum core exercises to get your hands faster. By the way, you should do that one first. The link is up there somewhere. Click on that link, do that lesson first, then come to double beat, because you, you need the eight on the hand first, then go into double beat, and everything is lovely after that. So yo, double beat, you're gonna use it, warms up the muscles and all that kind of good stuff. And it develops your double stroke rolls because you're doing doubles on a hand for exercise. Practice, exercise, practice. You gotta practice. You gotta practice. You gotta practice. We're talking about practice, man. And we add triple beat in there to develop the threes and if you can play three, like I said, twos will be easy. So, let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you on the snare drum first what the exercise is, and I have the sheet music that you can get down below. Got the link to it, click on it and pop up, and then you'll know what you're playing. All right, check me out. So once again, just like eight on a hand, you got to use your back fingers to help move the stick. See that? Your back fingers help support. And that's what you want to use. Nice legato stroke. Use your fingertips, play off of the drum and make it light. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Okay, now you've seen it, you got the hands right. Now we're gonna take it to the set and we're gonna play 
the hand part with your kick foot. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. And we're gonna lay a groove on top of it to get that coordination going and timing and all that good stuff. So yo, check it out, y'all. We're gonna take it to the drum set. First half of the exercise, you're gonna play your hands and the kick drum together, the double B part, okay? Um, the second part of the exercise, you're gonna do an eighth note ride pattern while your kick foot plays the double B pattern, okay? So you play one and two and three and four and on your hi-hat. You play two and four on the snare, one and two and three and four and, and you play the double B pattern on your foot, okay? Let's go.
now that you could play double beat with your kick drum, you've been introduced to foot combinations. That's going to up your level even more because a lot of the feels and all that are kick combinations. So welcome. You are here and you can go further. Keep practicing. So, yo, there you go. You got double beat down, triple beat down. You got it on the snare drum with your hands. You got it on the drum set with your exercise. No excuses. Practice every day. Don't forget, go back to the first lesson with eight on the hand. Do that one. Add this one on. Now you're stacking. Stacking like a player. Stacking them chips, right? Don't forget, chop shop rules. Always practice. Always have confidence. Always be humble. And always know you can go as far as you want to go. All right? Yo, so don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button below, somewhere down there. And yo, enjoy all the lessons, all the product reviews. Hit me up with some comments. Let me know what you want to see or if you got any questions. And yo, let's have fun. Let's drum and let's go as high as we can, all right? I catch y'all next time. Later.